I have my old bracelet here with the uh, metal tag on it, Wanderer. Um, this is a Sanctified Covenant stitch. And it's getting old and dirty, and I think I need a new one, but I'd like to reuse this on my new bracelet. So what I've done is, <clears throat> let me just get this off of here. What I'm going to do is cut this apart, take it off. Unfortunately, it won't be used anymore, so I'm going to take this off. And off the other end. So I can reuse this. There, I'd like to reuse that. Now I could reuse the buckle, which I think I'm going to also do. The buckle is still good. So let me cut this off here first. All right, guys, what I did was took apart my old Sanctified Covenant bracelet that had the medallion on it, the Wanderer medallion. I want to use that on my new bracelet I'm going to make. So I cut that off. I cut the buckle off, the black buckle. I think I'm going to reuse the black buckle. And this uh, medallion, <clears throat> the Wanderer medallion, just to show you the kind of buckles that I do have. There's purple, orange, yellow, brown, a dark blue, pink, white, green, a light blue, and a red, and black, of course. So I got quite a variety of different kinds of buckles for different color bracelets. But what I do need is <clears throat> the black for my bracelet and any other color just as a holder when you go on the uh, on the jig what you do is you put the get this apart you put one end on here the other end on here and then when you connect your actual buckle your weaving this goes in here to hold that and the other end on here and you would weave between the two blacks and then once you remove it the blue comes off the, the blues are just on there to have something to hold on to because you need these ends to to tie the weave on and my medallion just to show you at the beginning here of before i get started this is a very tiny weave let me just get so that it can focus i think that that'll be in focus there this is a ring and I have another red ring. This is a uh, cobra weave. This is also a cobra weave with a core of green and the weave of red. A little bit too small for that finger. That fits okay. And this one here will fit on that finger. So I have a couple of couple of rings that I made also. Too bulky for me but I do make rings also anyways guys the colors that I'm going to use for my bracelet is going to be these three colors right here uh, a brown goldenrod and black and I think the way I'm going to weave it is a double double Cobra weave all right so I have a length of, I'll give you the lengths at the end, uh, so that you can get a precise measurement. Uh, goldenrod, the brown, and the black, the same length as each of these. I took black double the length because I got to run the outside of each side. Um, you have to melt the end so the inside core doesn't come out. It's got seven strands inside core. So we'll melt those so that they don't come apart. And this is uh, nylon, polyester nylon. I think it's very hot, so watch you don't burn your fingers on those. Okay, now what I have to do is actually melt or connect the brown to the black 
and the goldenrod to the black. And there are several ways of doing this. On this method, I think I'm just going to melt and stick them together because the, the connection is going to be deep inside of the weave. So it, won't, it doesn't matter if it comes apart. But you can actually weave these together so that they will never come apart. But for this purpose, I think I'm just going to melt and singe these together. All right. So let's melt these two and stick them together here. And you get them nice and uh, nice and hot so that they actually even start on fire sometimes. We get them both going here at the same time. Once you get them nice and go nice and hot, you stick them together. Like that. And like I said, watch it. These are hot and they stay hot for quite a while. There. That's the black and the brown. So let me set this up. I've glued the two colors together of the black and the uh, brown and the goldenrod and the black together and I'll show you why so we'll connect these to one end so I'll run the two blacks through the one end here like so Turn this a little bit and pull them through on the other end. And we don't want to get any twists in there, so. Or we don't want to get them crossed over. So on this end, we'll take the black and the brown and feed them through this end of the buckle and connect that onto there and those can come out that side like so and then these two being the blacks on the outside make sure you have that because the blacks are going to run along the outside of the buckle and the colors are going to uh, swap back and forth on the inside. Okay. And like I said, the black on the outside. Now I'm going to start stitching from this end so what I want to do is pull the black uh, so I have more goldenrod on the other end I'll make sure that I have the uh, connection close to the finish end here so there like that goes on that end and then let's pull this because these um, are going to be covered up um, you won't be able to see those connections there so okay I have the black on the outside of each like so and let's make our first stitch now how you do this is you know, I'm always going to use the colors and uh, not the blacks so I'm going to take the first golden rod and get our first stitch going and take the black go over the golden rod underneath and up through the loop that was created by the uh, golden rod there and we'll tighten that up so we'll grab these, make sure that those are tight. 
and hold them and then tighten that up like so and then one more take the golden rod again over top the two core and take the black go over top the golden rod underneath the two core and through the loop and then tighten that up now when you tighten it up you should always pull with the same uh, pressure every time so now we're on to the brown and we'll bring the brown up so we can have a look at it and get it going okay we'll get the brown over top and the black underneath behind the two core and up through the loop and then we'll make sure that we pull these nice and tight and get that brown over top the correct side there what's going on okay there we go and the black and I'm just gonna hold that and then the first stitch is a little bit difficult once you get her going it should be okay the brown again the black over top underneath the two core through the loop and then tighten that up now when I get halfway make sure I get my medallion on here in the middle okay let me just start a few more stitches here <clears throat> all right now that we've got our first stitch on each side first stitch of uh, the golden rod and the gold and the brown I'm gonna take the golden rod and bring it over top to the left side this time and working with the golden rod first all the time I think I'll go with that uh, we'll bring the golden rod over the two core and bring the black over the golden rod underneath and up through the loop and then tighten up again golden rod first now that was half a stitch this is the other half bringing the golden rod back to the center of the weave now I'll work with the brown one complete full stitch I'm taking the brown now to the outside and the brown back to the inside and then I'm going to take the golden rod and go over the brown and bring it to the other side cross it over and now the golden rod again this is a half a stitch and the other half and now the brown over top and the brown back to the center and the golden rod over top the brown cross over I'll show you that in a minute why you do that you have to get a few more stitches in there in order for to, in order for you to see that um, why you would do that tighten up and I'm always pulling with the same kind of pressure all the time when I'm tightening so that it doesn't look funny and you're always working with the colors the, the brown and the golden rod that are doing the uh, going over all right I've started the stitching I've made this is a double cobra weave uh, to make it wide enough for my medallion and I've marked with pen on here where the medallion is going to go so I know at what stitch I have to start going and feeding this through here so I made the first stitch and crossed over with the brown the golden rod on top this time I'm going to do the golden rod on the bottom with the brown on top so that 
you have to think of this beforehand and don't get that mixed up because what I'm going to ha what's going to happen here on the bottom is it should go brown gold brown gold brown gold all the way so you got to make sure that you otherwise it'll be one color all the way so I'm going to go the gold on the bottom the brown over top and I like to always start with uh, the gold it doesn't matter which one but I'm going to start with the gold over the core and the black over the gold under the core and through the loop and tighten up and then bring the gold back to the center by doing another stitch and then the brown over the two core the black over the brown under the two core and through the loop and then tighten that up and bring the brown back to the center by doing another stitch and try to pull with the same pressure all the time so what you're going to end up with here is the black running down the center and the blacks running down the outsides and there's these two bumps here they should meet you shouldn't get them off kilter that's why you want to pull with the same pressure all the time so let's take it off oops I lost my there we've got the brown the gold and now we're going to change this to the gold has to come on top so when it goes on top you'll see that underneath it'll be brown gold brown gold all the way through so okay guys <clears throat> I've done the crossovers here the gold and then the brown then the gold and the brown and on the back you can see because I've crossed over correctly I've got the brown the gold brown gold brown gold all the way through all I've got left to do is a couple more stitches and then we'll tie in this end in there so all right I put some fids on the blacks because the blacks are the ones that do the weaving in and out and let's separate our colors here again I've tied in my medallion now and we're going to continue with the stitching right up to the end here so do the golden rod let me get the fit here we're going to go over top underneath and up through the hoop and tighten that up right over that joint and once again And now the other color, the brown. Let me tip this up just a bit so you can see a bit more. There we go. Okay, the brown. Get the yellow out of the way. Tighten up. I should have this on a flat table working here, so. That's why we're doing all the rattling around. Okay, and we'll tighten that up. All right, so what I did with the yellow the golden rod is come around and go under the black to here, and I'm just going to cut that off. I don't think I'm going to singe. Um, I think I'm just going to cut these off. If I can find my scissor, what you do usually is you cut and singe. But uh, I think if you, uh, I don't think those are going to come out anyways. You're going to have to take a lot of pressure to pull that out of there. So I'm left with a couple of feet of goldenrod. And now with my knotter's tool, I'm going to bring the brown around and go through underneath these uh, three three leads here the first one should be simple because it's uh, the black here and I can tighten that up when I'm ready it's the next two that are going to be tough and I'll take the brown now and I put a fit on its end and we'll go under those two and we'll, we'll get a third one there yet so we'll bring this around and we'll pull this 
nice and tight around there and down underneath and then when I tighten the black up that'll really make it tight so with the nodders tool I'm going to go underneath the third one let's just snip that off all right okay let's have a look at this thing get rid of our turn the camera back down for you okay there we have our medallion back on our bracelet and nice knots all the way yo guys that's what the new bracelet looks like beautiful perfect wanderer and it's got a nice fit i can stick my finger underneath gives me a nice clean fit i can read it and then if we do it the other way the wanderer is facing outward great love the new colors as opposed to these old colors this was a uh, sanctified covenant sanctified uh, not quite as wide as this is this one's a little wider by another quarter of an inch uh, this one was nice at after after a little while it becomes nice and soft and supple so this should be good and it's nice a nice um, fit I made it two inches bigger my wrist is uh, eight measures eight and I made it uh, ten so that's two inches bigger which worked out perfectly and I just cut the buckles off the old one it was getting dirty so uh, and the, 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 uh, the uh, um, medallion was right here so now I've got this one <laughs> beautiful guys thank you